Welcome back. What's up, Migo fans? How you guys doing? Welcome to the MIB Master Museum. I'll be your curator today. And guys, we have, to me, one of the coolest Super Friends villains of all time. When I was a kid, I thought this guy was super funny and super cool with the powers that he possessed. And the way he gave the Super Friends super fits. <laughs> guys, we're talking about none other than Mr. Mitzelplik. That's a tongue twister. And this is Superman's arch enemy. And Figures Toy Company released this guy on a awesome Kretzky card. Let's, let's get you a wide shot of the Kretzky card. And this is Mitzelplik. I never called him Mr. though. It's, I just remember seeing this guy in the Super Friends cartoons. And like one of my favorite Super Friends cartoons, I think it's like Mental Plick put the Super Friends uh, in a situation where they were, they had to act out the Wizard of Oz. And he turned everybody into the different characters of Wizard of Oz, which was crazy. And I think Superman was like the Tin Man or something like that. And, um, Oh my goodness! Oh, I think Aquaman was like the straw man. It, it it was it was crazy. It was it was hilarious, and it was fun. It, it was it was really fun. Uh, Mitzelplik was a prankster, a, a a joker, jokester, trickster, whatever you want to call it. He was a lot of things, but he wasn't really. His character wasn't malicious, if you will. He wasn't a malicious villain. He wanted to have fun. He wanted to humiliate the Super Friends, particularly Superman. But he wanted to have fun. He, I don't think sometimes Mitzelplik realized that at his, his fun, the, the type of expense that it was costing humans, you know, like making a gigantic mountain out of uh, ice cream, and ice cream starting to melt down towards a small city. It's just, it's not my idea of a good time, but it was hilarious to him. <laughs> he, you know, Mr. Plick enjoyed that stuff. But I wanted to shed some light on Mr. Plick because as a, a villain, he's gotten to me in the Mego universe, in the Mego universe, he hasn't been given a lot of love and support. You know, this guy hasn't gotten a lot of love and support. Mitzelplik is uh, is not a very difficult uh, Mego figure to find, even in this condition. And this is C10 condition. And this is a reproduction from Figures Toy Company. But you can find him on eBay and other places uh, if you really look. Now, he's going to cost some money. You know, you're not going to buy a... a, a a Mego that was a uh, figure that was produced in 1974, mid on card. You, you're not going to just walk into him and buy it like that. Uh, you'll pay some money, but his asking price isn't as high as Superman or Batman or Robin or Aquaman. And it never was. And I never understood why the, the bad guys simply didn't get a lot of love. They just, on, on the second, secondary market, they, they just didn't receive that type of admiration. And uh, let's give you some background on Mitzelplik. And the thing is, Mitzelplik was not, he's, he's not a brand new character. He was not created just for the Super Friends show. As a matter of fact, get in. I love the head sculpt. They did a great head sculpt on this guy. They got the head sculpt right uh, for the original Mego. Um, his first appearance was in Superman issue number 30. And that was September of 1944. Mitzelplik has been around for a very, very long time. Very long time. Let's turn this card around. And then we'll get some more into talking about this card. This is, once again, this is a Kretzky card, which is, uh, I love this Kretzky card uh, format. 
And there he is right here. That's a great shot of him right there. And here's all the, the bad guys. And we've covered a lot of these bad guys here at MIB Master Museum. And we haven't got to Dr. Savannah yet. But we're we're moving in that direction, guys. But um so yeah, he was he was created in 1944. That was his uh his first appearance. Uh his creators are Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, the creators of Superman. His uh powers, he's from the fifth dimension. Uh, he's a fifth dimensional imp. He's an imp. But uh, he's he has the power uh, of reality <laughs> reality manipulation, not bound by the third dimensional laws. He can alter in that aspect. He can alter three D laws. Essentially, Mitzelplik is his powers are limitless practically. What he can do, the damage that he can do in our world is, is just, it's limitless. It's, ca it's, it's on a catastrophic level. If he really wanted to be evil, he was more than, more than a match for Superman. We look at him and he looks almost clownish in his appearance and kind of silly but his powers were nothing to laugh at his abilities and his capabilities were nothing to laugh at and i wanted uh i never had missile plick as a amigo figure when i was a kid because i didn't control buying and spending in my household when i was a kid and uh because i saw him on the super friends i liked him but it i i never if I had my choice, it was always going to be Batman or Superman or Robin or maybe Aquaman. Um, those those guys like that or, or um, some of the Planet of the Apes, um, Migos, or things like that. I've, I've had those. But Mitzelplik would always take a back seat. But I, as time went on, I said, you know what, I have to, because this is a, a museum quality, so our Mitzelplik is for museum purposes only. Um, but I wanted to add him to our collection. You can't have a collection, Amigo collection, and not have the original Amigos that were were released between 73 and, and 81, you know, so or 73 and 74, between 73 and 76, if you want to be technical, you know, the newer Amigos that were being released during that time period. And you had to have Mitzelplik. But, um... Here's another fun fact about Mitzel Plick. Here's another fun fact about Mitzel Plick. In 2009, Mitzel Plick was ranked as IGN's organization by I by IGN's. He was ranked 76th of all time greatest comic book villain of all time. So IGN ranked Mitzel Plick number 76 of all time, of all the, the comic book villains of all time. He was ranked number 76. And that's, that's we've had a lot, uh, I mean, thousands and thousands and thousands of comic book super villains, Mitzelplik ranks number seventy six, and that's telling you the respect that he gets in a DC universe, or practically in any universe, because I uh, IGN didn't state whether it was DC or Marvel. I think they're they're including both universes t uh, as one, so that's saying a whole lot. And this was a very intriguing character comic book character and you see me panning down this Kretzky card Mitzelplik as Figures Toy Company can only do it have made Mitzelplik very desirable and collectible 
there was only a thousand of the Kretschke card Nitzelplex created. I have number 911 of a thousand. I have 911 of a thousand. That's how That's how collectible this guy is. Guys, if you don't have uh, Mr. Mitzelplick in your collection, definitely try to get this guy. Uh, at last check, Figures Toy Company still has Mitzelplick, the Kretzky car Mitzelplick. And I paid, oh my goodness, I want to say it was either 26 or 29. It's been a while. I can I can definitely double check the numbers for you. But look to pay somewhere between $26 and $29 for this character. Uh, and that's not including shipping and handling. So it brought him somewhere around $36. $34 So he was somewhere in the $26, $29 range. And with shipping and handling, uh, he went up to about uh, $34 or $36. So, but he's worth it. Um, he's a cool figure. Uh, and he was released in, by Mego. In 1974, 1974, and there were two head sculpts to to Mitzelplik. There were two, the one that you're looking at right now with the with the open mouth, and there was another head sculpt that had him. He had longer hair, and he was smirking. He had a smirk to him. That head sculpt is a little more difficult to find. That's a, that's a, a lot more rare than the one you're looking at right now. So if you 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 stumble upon Mitzelplik, kind of make sure to, to to check his head sculpt to see if he see the smirking or if he has his mouth open. The mouth the mouth open Mitzelplik is not that rare. But the smirking head sculpt of Mitzelplik is very rare. And that's a fun Mego fact. <laughs> guys, we're going to be bringing more bad guys of the DC Universe to you. Of the Super Friends Universe to you. We haven't stopped, guys. we got some big things going on this week. We want you guys to stick around. Don't change that channel. Don't touch the dial. Put the remote down. Grab your favorite beverage. Whether that's cola. Whether that's coffee. Whatever it is. Relax on the couch. And tune in to the MIB Master Museum. Guys, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. And with that being said. You know the drill, guys. God bless. One last go around of our super villain here. The Kresge carded neutral plate. Guys, keep collecting.